So for today, I'll be talking about tonsillitis. So first off, what are tonsils? Tonsils are oval-shaped masses of tissues that can be found in the back of our throat. So they help to fight the immune system, fight off bacteria, viruses, and other things that can enter our mouth. So tonsillitis occur when our tonsils become inflamed or infected. So it can be treated, pero sometimes, pag hindi na siya kinaya ng treatment, it can lead to surgery na tinatawag natin tonsillitis. Tonsillitis are usually common in young children um, under the age of 5. So, it is commonly caused by a bacteria. Um, it is called the streptococcus pyogenes or strep throat. So, it will start off by Invasion of the mucous membrane by a uh, bacteria streptococci and after invasion of the mucous membrane, um, it will follow by So, the damage yung this yung ating drainage um, function. So after nun, pag accumulate accumulation. So magkakaroon accumulations of secretions or yung mga waste products ng microbes. So, after accumulations of the secretions or yung mga waste products ng mga microbes, it will lead to swollen or irritated So, magiging irritated or infected yung tonsils natin. So, pag nangyari yun, magkakaroon tayo na So, dahil nga swollen or irritated na yung tonsils natin, magkakaroon tayo ng blockage. which can lead to upper airway obstruction, which is mahirapan tayo huminga, pwede tayong mahirapan din na lumunok. So, after this, kapag hindi siya nabigyan ng proper treatment, pwede siyang mag-lead to infection. So, if yung tonsils natin, um, naging infected at hindi natin siya nabigyan ng proper treatment, it can probably lead to more um, worse scenario, which is yung peritonsillar abscess. So, yung peritonsillar abscess, ito yung um, complication kapag hindi nabigyan ng proper treatment yung simple tonsillitis lang. So, it can lead to rheumatic heart fever, which is pwede maapektuhan yung parts ng katawan natin, yung mga organs, such as heart, kidney, and so, here are the common symptoms or signs of 
um, tonsillitis in pitcha. So, So, here are the common signs and symptoms of um, tonsillitis in pedia. So, drooling, fever, palpable limb glands in the neck, and of course, dyspagia or yung paghirap natin sa pagswalo. So, kagaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, tonsillitis can be treated by first, um, So, gargling of salt water. So, it is if, um, proven effective na makapagpagaling ng mga swollen um, tonsils natin. So, by doing this, pwedeng mag-decrease yung pamamaga or inflammation ng tonsils. So, may iwasan natin na hindi na sila mahirapan na lumunok or humina. So, other um, antibiotic therapy. So, antibiotic can help to um, mapagaling din yung tonsils, pero hindi natin siya basta-basta binibigay. It should be prescribed by the doctor and hindi basta-basta tinitigil yung antibiotic. So, of course, it is important na uminom na maraming tubig. So, hindi dapat malamig, kundi warm lang or yung katamtaman lang. So, kailangan uminom ng maraming tubig yung bata para mawala yung sakit na lalabunan niya. Kasi mas nag-accumulate yung bacteria or mas nabubuhay yung bacteria pag kumain pa tayo ng malamig or kaya ng um, matamis sa pagkain. Tonsillitis are very easily to diagnose because you can observe the red swollen exudate and palatine petit chase and be in contact with people increases the risk of being exposed to tonsillitis. That is why school age children often get the illness and you can also develop tonsils if someone with infection coughs or sneezes near you and breathes in droplets.